well the sun is going down but it's going behind the uh my trees so i don't have a strong shadow here uh it's really pretty close right now but if i had to guess sundown would be somewhere sundown well right now it's right here so sundown might have been right about there but it's pretty close close enough anyhow and there's where we were sitting yesterday up under there um now this is the end of yesterday now what do i get done today welcome back it's day 16 <laughs> and uh pull the big Trying to, off and he goes, You've got two on there, so there is one right next to Trying to, to get the something other. done here. Hi, Robert Homestead Aquarius. Hey, Jan. Yes, he Simply well, Jan Homestead. I, I'm gonna have I to mean, calm I'm, you down. Gonna have to calm you down. Let's hit play, Constantly, and uh, we'll just yeah. turn her down just a little bit so we can get something done. Um, <laughs> uh, Jan has got herself those uh those issues that a lot of us do it's like picking off ticks you know when we're out here uh in all of this uh we are sometimes the best way to get rid of ticks in your area because they naturally attract to you and then you pick them off so um she's got that going on bless her heart now it's like one of those things sweet tea you know, my day is sweet as sweet tea, but sometimes there's little things that get in the way. <laughs> what have I got done today? Not as much as I would hope, but now I'm going to tell you what. I have a thankful spirit, and I have a glass of sweet tea. Now, let me start this off by, by giving you a little idea about what I'm going to do today. I haven't made a lot of progress here, and it's not going to be that. You see the shadows here. This is at the end of the day. Um, it's been hot. I've got I got started with stuff. I made videos. My phone overheated, and it was rambly. Just kind of like I had a lot of rambly in there, um, and it was kind of like the way I'm doing it now. It's kind of rambly, but we all got very lucky. Um, everybody on this planet got very lucky. I'm going to tell you why in just a minute. Um, and I'm also going to do a shout out, uh, and a call for action for the community, from anybody that can help, uh, these two, uh, two families that are great supporters and great people out there. Um, that'll come up in a little bit. Now, let me tell you why we're all so lucky on this planet. I'll try to make this quick. Um, I did this earlier, but that was in the rambly part. Okay, we have shown you the sundial now. Let's pretend like the sundial is the sun itself, okay? We'll take that stick out of there. We all got lucky. Well, let's, let's pretend like this is um, the earth in our orbit around the sun, okay? And, you know, we're spinning. We're sitting here spinning in our orbit around the sun, as we go along in the course of a year. Well, the reason we just got lucky is because the sun just launched another coronal mass ejection. They happen all the time. Solar flares and CMEs are a constant thing. This one happened to be a gigantic one, and it erupted from a, from a sunspot, and all of that energy went that way. Okay, like a bubble popping and uh, a huge chunk of the sun's atmosphere went out into space. We were over here. If that CME had launched anywhere over here and thrown out its atmosphere at Earth, you wouldn't be watching YouTube right now in most of the world, at least one half of it. And if it's a big enough, if it's this big enough eruption, because the sun also spins, and that would have sprayed that CME and all of that would have sprayed a long time. 
and the earth would have continued to turn. It's what they call a solar kill shot. It would have effectively put us back into the Iron Age or the Stone Age. And it could be even worse than that. They have done it in the past. Uh, look up the Carrington event. So my fellow earthlings all across the world, especially in those of developed nations that count on such devices and the fragile network that keep them. Oh, John, get out of there. John, John, will it grow? He's all over the place trying to, trying to spread uh, his, his, um, his shed wars junk, you know, on everybody else. He's, oh, he's special out there. And right now he's, he's, uh, he's, he's talking to people. See, he's trying to steal members away from it for his team. Probably from me, you know, trying to, trying to get my people, John. But yeah, we all got lucky. Um, and we never know it while we were working and sleeping. This happened in the solar system. And we once again got lucky. Two or three times now in the last 10 years, we've gotten lucky. One of them hit this close to us. And that was back uh, four or five years ago. Uh, that close to us. If it would have been here, we still would not be recovered. Okay? So, it's going to be a big, big shout-out episode, I guess. And to tell you that and, and uh, tell you why we're so lucky. But... Speaking of losing power, let me show you this. I've been busy getting some things done. My phone is overheated two or three times, and I'm telling you, it was in the shade. But apparently, just the air temperature being on my hip is too much to keep it um, going. I've uncovered some of my rocks. What you're seeing here is um, this is about where the end of my outdoor kitchen uh, is, is planned to be, or really is. But I wasn't able to finish this uh, back when I was working on it. Now, I've told you how, or some of you have heard me say this, how I don't like to use power equipment on my property. It cheats me out of exercise. And a closer um, relationship with nature and with my land. When I use manual tools and my own breath, um, it lets me uh, it, it lets me let nature help me. She brings in plants of all kinds that I can benefit from, and I love seeing the diversity. That shows up on my place. This is a passion flower. Now, if I just come through here and weed eat and bush hog everything, uh, I'm going to cut that down. I'm going to cut down this one too. I'll never know that they're there. I won't be able to transplant them to where I want them. That's some good food right there. It's fun food. Now, using these lets me be selective it lets me see the trees that are in the forest basically i have i have many things i don't want to cut down but as as much as i am trying to not do any harm to my place and my efforts i miss this you see that that's my extension cord all of this green stuff I noticed, right? And I said, oh, that's a passion flower. I can't cut that. And I get over here, completely miss this reddish, pink reddish, sun faded uh, <laughs> uh, extension cord powering my, my air pump over there. So I had to go shut that down. Um, I've got all of this cut. I've just got to drag it out of here. It's been a hot day. Got storms coming in again tonight. The tarp that I've got over the um, the thing there, I'm going to roll that up because the winds will be high. I left it up last night because I knew that the winds wouldn't be that bad. But uh, this is what I've got done. Uh, 
today so far, and I'm just going to let this video go for now and let it be this because this area is where I'm going to put everything that's in the kitchen area. I'm going to drag it over here. So that's what I've got done today. Uh, I got my rocks back uncovered. I have many rocks around here. Uh, sadly, I've not uncovered a snake. I can't. I, I love seeing the snakes. But um, let me show you this. This mess of green that you're looking at is where I showed you my uh, passion flower blossom. Well, the, the passion flower blossom that I showed you the other day or a few days ago, a week or so ago, whatever, has now turned into a passion flower fruit. These taste to me an awful lot like Sprite. People have many questions about them. Um, they are really tasty. This, to answer some of those questions, you know when they're ripe, um, because they'll, they'll get at their biggest. It'll be at the end of summer, early fall, most of the time. Um, they'll be big and they'll start having yellow. Yeah, kind of like a yellowish tinge to them. And a lot of times they'll fall off. This is an important species of plant uh, for two butterflies. Uh, I think the uh, zebra tail or zebra butterfly and the gulf fritillary butterfly or zebra swallowtail butterfly. But they count on these things and there's not enough of wild areas and wild plants uh, for them. And so... Uh, and they're migratory species of butterflies, so I like to have these spreading. The ones I showed you er earlier just coming up on their own, that gives me a wonderful feeling in my heart. Now, I transplanted this, and I showed you how. That was last year. People ask if they can transplant this and how hard it is to transplant that. Um, passion flower transplants well. And here's a rule for you. Get plenty of dirt. If you find something out there that you want to transplant, get plenty of dirt. Keep it out. Give it some shade. Keep it moist. And uh, it should do well for you. But a lot of times people just get like the bare root, you know, and it doesn't do so good. So if you can, get a big handful of dirt uh undisturbed root there you know the better better you can now john over at will it grow dispelled a myth the other day he showed us not about these uh he does annual gardenings and he knows uh, gardening videos um he knows about some wild plants in his areas but he showed everybody how to uh transplant ready for this carrots okay he showed you that yes you can transplant carrots you thin them out if they're too you got too many in the area take them and transplant them somewhere else go check out his video um there's so many people i would like to shout out and let me give a shout out to granny marino uh she is a wonderful lady uh, that is always a bright light on YouTube. She puts out uh, normally short, encouraging messages on just about every day. And you're going to love her spirit if you don't like her. If, I mean, if you, if you don't know her, um, if you don't know her, I love the lady, and uh, she's a blessing to many people. Um, with that, let me get on to something else, and I... I think I've forgotten something I wanted to say, but that's with the footage that I dumped probably and I won't remember it, but bear with me, more rambling. All right, Jan, I'm gonna have to say bye, darling. Gonna have to say bye. I gotta, I gotta use this here device um, to show the, show the good people a couple of channels. And I just heard thunder. <laughs> so, uh, those storms are, it's a pretty big one moving up from the Gulf. Um, I got to get that tarp down and then immediately, well, after this, I got to edit and upload it and then I'm going to get me some supper. So hold on. I'll get this ready. One thing that has made YouTube 
and the community of people on it, the many communities are, that are on it, that's made it special for so many people is, is that community and being able to reach out to other people um, in, in laughter, sadness, tragedy, um, triumph, whatever we're doing. And let me stop and take a moment to say, to introduce to you Jandera. Now, this is a family. This is old school, the way I'm doing this, just showing you this. Um, maybe I'll put a, no, I'll, I'll leave a link uh, so that you can find them easily. Jandera is the name of their homestead. They're in Australia. Uh, they're a wonderful family, but they've had a um, they've had a problem. They had a roofing contractor to come in, and I won't say too much about it. But there's something wrong with the way the roof is. Okay, um, and it's caused them great problems in their house. And right now, they've got a mold situation that uh, Garrowin who is uh, the head lady in charge there at Jandera, has said that their insurance is going to take care of the damage, but the rebuilding and everything, the roof repair, that, or the, the, the roof redesign, really, you know, which would include the tear out and the addition, the putting a new roof on there to do what it needs to do, that the insurance apparently that's not going to cover that it comes under some other thing like i said I, I don't know that much about it i won't say too much about it but um jandera uh, has not asked me to do this at all this is me just reaching out to people uh, i looked on the video she's got a video about mold on in, in her house and in there she has a paypal account link so anyone that is out there with the means to help, um, this is a family that could really use your use their help. They have a great homestead. Do you hear the thunder? <laughs> they have a great homestead going, and um, and they're great people. This lady could use some help. So anybody that could help with their funds to get them a new roof on their house. I know that I'll appreciate it, and that family certainly will. Um, but anyhow, search them out. Now, the other one is someone here in North America that many people uh, know of. Betty Jean Heinsohn. Look at this. It's a little small channel, um, but she is a big supporter of many channels. Many people know Betty Jean well, her and her family have just gone through something horrific. Um, I'm sure that they feel blessed because a tornado uh, basically took their house. They are without a home, and you can imagine the things that they're having to deal with now. I do not know the extent of... Uh, uh, harm that's been caused to the family as far as injuries yet. Um, I haven't seen that much information, but we do know that this family is in trouble. So I'd like to give them a shout out and anyone that can help the Betty Jean Heinsohn family, uh, please do so. That's, that's who we're looking at right there. And, um, that's the channel was what it looks like you can see through the glare there i think but uh, uh everybody just stop and think what would it be like if that were you and you know help these folks out uh if we do that then we've won today um and i, I certainly have these folks in my prayers many people and that's an important thing that I always do every day in my life is, is, you know, be concerned with others and their well-being. So uh, I'd like to just lend my voice out there and, and help these folks. And this has been far too long. So 
thank you very much for watching. This is a public service announcement kind of thing. Um, Y'all be good, and I'll see you tomorrow um, after these storms and, and I get power back on over here. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all be good. Well, this looks a little better, and uh, I can... I can see all of this in now. Even made it to the to the big rock that I've got there and the old sled that I built to haul it here on from about two blocks away. I'm tired, y'all. I'm hot and I'm tired and it's time for supper. Y'all be good.